क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ओके सो आई वी सॉल्व अदर क्वेश्चन एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री ओके डन मोस्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री डन परफेक्ट Okay. So here we go. Exercise three point four is similar to exercise three point three. Just there is a small difference. In exercise three point three, all your objects were distinct. In exercise three point four, we are going to deal when objects are not distinct. So what is the difference when objects are distinct and when objects are not distinct? So in previous or yesterday's example, we have seen questions in this way. Arrange the letters of this word, or arrange the letters one, two, three, and four. Or we have seen arrange the word algorithm. So if you look carefully over here, in this word, K A P I L, each and every letter is different. In this word, algorithm, each and every letter is different. None of the letter is repeated. A L G O R I T H M. We had also seen this example one, two, three, and four. All of the numbers are different in this one, two, three, and four. None of the numbers is repeated. Or I can say that all the objects are distinct. And we have seen yesterday few examples how to solve or how to find permutations. when all the objects are distinct so today we'll see few examples when all the objects are not distinct and in how uh, many ways can we find the letters or the permutation so let us consider one word if you consider this word balloon l is repeated twice and o is also repeated twice my question is in how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word balloon so going by our previous approach we can say that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven letters are there so it can be arranged in seven factorial ways however there is going to be a difference now because o is repeated twice l is repeated twice so whichever object is repeated whichever number of times we are going to divide by that number of times so over here l is repeated twice so i'll divide by 2 factorial o is repeated twice so again i'll divide by 2 factorial so in how many ways can i arrange the letters of the word balloon i can arrange them in 7 factorial divide by 2 factorial into 2 factorial because 2 was repeated twice let's see next question in how many ways can i arrange the letters of the word represent or what are the different permutations that can be possible to arrange this word represent okay so how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine letters are there so it can be arranged in nine factorial ways however some of the letters are repeated r is repeated how many times two times so i'll divide by two factorial is anything else repeated yes e is also repeated and how many times e is repeated e is repeated three times so i'll also divide by three factorial so in how many ways can i arrange the letters of the represent i can arrange them in nine factorial divided by two factorial into three factorial let's consider one more word from a textbook shantaram How many letters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can arrange it in nine factorial ways. Which of the letters are repeated? A is repeated one, two, three times. So I'll divide by three factorial. Is anything else repeated in this? S is not repeated. 
and tr so nothing else is repeated so i can say that the ways of writing permutation is equal to 9 factorial by 3 factorial i want answers for these two letters combination and bal bharti so type in your answers to let me know what is the answer for third and fourth question you have one minute and you can copy down this okay other answers i've got answers from veer prashant good okay veer yes in textbook it is given as combine i have given the word combination so we'll have to find for combination i changed the word because in combine objects are all distinct Okay, perfect. So first word combination: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that is equal to eleven factorial. Divide by how much? O is repeated twice. i is repeated twice n is also repeated twice and in the fourth question bal bharti we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so nine factorial divide by a is repeated twice so upon 2 factorial b is repeated twice so again 2 factorial all other terms are different Okay, so most of you have got this answer correct. Bal Bharati, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so some of you have written Bal Bharati spelling as this, Bal Bharati, R A T I. So if you have written R A T I, then obviously your answer will be different. In that case, you have ten letters, so you'll have ten factorial divided by. Two factorial, two factorial, and two factorial. Or a is repeating thrice, so that will be three factorial and two factorial. So if you have written different spelling, you you are going to get different answer. So even your answer is correct. So I hope I hope you got it. The answer for bal bharti would be ten factorial divided by three factorial into two factorial. Okay. And let's see next question. Question number four. We have five red balls, four blue color balls, 
and four green color balls. These uh, these balls are present in a bag, and from the bag you are drawing them one by one. So you are drawing first ball, you are looking at its color, then you are throwing it away. You are drawing out second ball, you are looking at its color, you are throwing it away. So how many different ways are there in which you can draw out the balls from the bag? Or how many different ways are there or permutations are there such that different color combinations will be possible if you draw them out one by one? So again, simple question. You have to first add how many total number of balls will be there? 5 plus 4 plus 4. So there will be total of 13 balls. So they can be drawn out in how many ways? 13 factorial ways. However, they are repeated. Five are of the same color. So for repetition, we just divide by that. So answer will be 13 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 4 factorial and 4 factorial. My question is, you have to find for this that there are two English, three Hindi and four maths books. You have to arrange them. So you can find the answer for this later on. I proceed to the next question first. Question number 11. You have three to three. Two, four, five digits or numbers present, and you have to find five-digit number that can be formed. So, in this particular case, you have six digits which are present: three, two, three, two, four, and five. Out of which, you have to only form a five-digit number. So, in how many ways can I do that? So. Even if you consider a previous case, if I have n number of objects and out of n number of objects, I have to find out r number of object selection. That can be done in npr ways. So if I'm having six numbers out of which I have to find five digit number, that can be done in npr ways, that is 6p5 ways. So what is n? n is total number of digits, which is equal to six. And what is five? Uh, denoting over here. 5 denotes that I have to actually form a 5 digit number. So out of 6 options I am going to fill how many spaces? I am going to fill 5 places. So that can be done in how many ways? 6p 5 ways. And what is value of 6p 5? NPR formula is n factorial upon n minus r factorial. So that is 6 factorial upon 6 minus 5 1 factorial. And what is 1 factorial? 1 factorial is nothing but 1. However, there is something which is repeated. 3 is repeated twice. So what we are going to do? We are going to divide by 2 factorial. So answer is going to be 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Next question. One number is given to you. 6, 5, double, 9, 4, 2. And from this, you have to find 6 digit distinct numbers or different ways of arranging this 659942. So now I want to arrange all the six digits so I can either use my permutation formula which is 6p6 and what would be 6p6 that is going to be equal to 6 factorial again. This formula for 6p6 would be 6 factorial upon 6 minus 6 factorial and what is 6 minus 6 factorial? 0. And what is 0 factorial? 0 factorial is equal to 1. It is not equal to 0. So remember these values. 0 factorial is 1. 1 factorial is also 1. 2 factorial is 2. 3 factorial is 6. 4 factorial is 24. 5 factorial is 120. 6 factorial is 720. 7 factorial is 5040. So now I have to find six digit number. So six digit number I can either write, I have six options and I have to find or fill up six places. So that is 6p6, which is equal to six factorial. However, n is repeated twice. So I'm going to divide by two factorial. So my answer is going to be six factorial divided by two factorial. Okay, so copy this down and tell me answer for this one.
Okay, I've got this. Also, nine is repeated twice. Okay, so most of you have given correct answer. 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 factorial. I'll have to divide by that by 2 factorial, 3 factorial and 4 factorial. Okay. We'll see next question that most of you had doubts from exercise 3.2, question number 9. So most of you ask this doubt. The question is 2n factorial divided by n factorial, which is equal to 2 raised to n, 2n minus 1, all the odd terms, 2n minus 3, dot, 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 5 into 3 into 1. Odd terms are left out. So start with your left hand side. 2n factorial is given to you. What can I write 2n factorial? I can write 2n factorial as 2n. Reduce it. What would be next term? Next term would be 2n minus 1. Term after that 2n minus 2. Term after that 2n minus 3. Then 2n minus 4, 2n minus 5. It will go on reducing. Till what would be my last terms? 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by I have n factorial. What is n factorial? n into I can say n minus 1 into I can say n minus 2 n minus 3 and this is also going to reduce till what? 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. So now what do we want? In our right hand side we want 2 n minus 1 to n minus 3. All the odd terms. So we have to simplify our even terms. So how can we simplify? This 2n can be written as 2 into n. I'll keep my odd term as it is 2n minus 1 as it is. From this 2n minus 2, this bracket, I'll take 2 common. So what will be left over here? n minus 1 would be left over here. Then I'll write this bracket again as it is. So this bracket will be 2n minus 3. What would be in the next bracket after this? The next bracket after this would be 2n minus 4. And if I take 2 common from that bracket, I'll be left out with what? n minus 2. And this will go on continuing till what? 5 into 4. 4 is nothing but 2 to the 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And this whole thing is divided by what? Our n factorial that is n n minus 1 n minus 2 dot 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 3 into 2 into 1. So what I will do now I'll take all the two terms on one side. So how many two terms are there? 2 then again this 2 then again this 2 is there then again this 2 is there. So how many times this 2 will be repeating? It will be repeating n number of times. Because we have started with 2 nth term. So it will be 2, 2, 2, 2 up till n number of times. So I can, if I write down all the 2 common, I'll get away 2 raised to n. Then this n will be as it is. So this n as it is. Next term would be 2 n minus 1. Then this term, which is n minus 1. Then this term, which is 2 n minus 3. Then this term, which is n minus 2, this is going to continue till 5 into this 2 into 2. We have taken this 2 out common, so this will be left as 2 into this is 3 into this 2 we have taken common, so 1 will be, one will be left over here. This whole term is divided by n, n minus 1, n minus 2 up till 3 into 2 into 1. Now cancel out all those terms. So n is cancelling out. n minus 1 will cancel out. 
n minus 2 terms will cancel out this three terms will cancel out two ones so all the last terms will cancel out so three into two will give you six so yeah six the terms will cancel out so after this solving you'll get your right hand side as your answer which is 2 raised to n term as it is and then all your odd terms so 2n minus 1 is i here 2n minus 3 would be present over here and then you have 5 which will be present over here you have your odd terms so this 6 is cancelling from other term you'll have 3 into 3 so that 3 is coming here and then 1 therefore and second set is proved so copy down this question i hope this answered most of the doubts because most of the most of you who are asking this question today any other questions from anyone so that we can solve let me know in the chat box if this is clear okay perfect So copy down this. We'll see one more question from textbook. Exercise three point two sixth question. There are multiple questions in that. Five questions are there. I have solved. Out of those five, I think I've solved four of them. So if you have any particular question in one step, then I can explain that. Okay, let's see next question. NP5 is given as 42 into NP3. You have to find value of N. So can you solve this question? You have to use the NPR formula, simplify N factor upon N minus 5 factorial. Similarly, NP3 would be N factor upon N minus 3 factorial. Which one is bigger? N minus 5 is bigger. So reduce N minus 5 as N minus 5, N minus 4, N minus 3. Then cancel out N minus 3 factorial from both sides. And then equate to get value of N. So you have one minute to solve this question. Fast. Uh, yes, Prashant. N minus 3 is bigger. So you are not going to reduce N minus 5. N minus 3, N minus 4, N minus 5. And then you'll cancel out n minus 5 from both sides. So 3.2 question 6, some 5. So get your answers fast. Okay, we're in question number five. What you have to do is it is given as 2n factorial. 
So you cannot cancel out 2n and n factorial directly. So we'll have to write 2n factorial as 2n factorial, then reduce it to n minus 1, then reduce it to n minus 2, and keep on reducing. The denominator term that you have is 2n minus 7. So reduce till n minus 2n minus 7th term. So that your 2n minus 7 terms will cancel out. So in numerator, we'll have 6 terms. 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2, 2n minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and 2n minus up till 2n minus 6th term. Similarly, in your denominator, you have n factorial and n minus 4. So reduce your n factorial till n minus 4. So you'll get three terms. n factorial, so n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and n minus 3. And then from your numerator term, you add your 2n minus 6 in numerator. Take 2 common you will be left with n minus 3 so that you can cancel out n minus 3 from numerator denominator. In that way, you will be able to simplify. And once you cancel out those terms, and 7 factorial and 4 factorial, again simple, reduce 7 as 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 and cancel out 4 factorial. You will be able to get values. Okay, how many of you have solved this question? Seven and ten. Okay, n is equal to ten. Perfect. So n p five is n factorial divided by n minus five factorial forty two. So this n factorial n minus three factorial cancel this out. Therefore, I can say n minus five factorial is equal to this n minus three into n minus four into n minus five. So that I can cancel this out. Then n minus three into n minus 4 is equal to 7 into 6 and is equal to 10. So most of you had got this answer right. Next question. For this word platoon, find in how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word platoon? such that first case your vowels are always together and your second case vowels are never together so i'll again give 30 seconds you can try i'll give you a hint how to solve for always together objects we have seen yesterday tie them together consider them as one unit just there is one problem over that a and o is repeated twice so if anything is repeated twice we have to divide by that number of factorial. And how to solve vowels are never together option? We forgot we forget about them. First write or represent other letters and then put cross signs. According to cross, we can get the remaining places. So start, you have one minute for this fast. when vowels are all together and vowels are never together. Okay, I'll write the answer. When vowels are to be together, what we do is we'll consider them as one unit. So consider A, O, and O as one unit X. Rewrite the letter again. I have P, L, T, N, and instead of writing A, O, and O, I have written X. So this new word consists of how many units? One, two, three, four, five. So this can be arranged in how many ways? Five factorial ways. 
Similarly, this x consists of how many? One, two, three. So this x can be arranged in three factorial. However, there is a difference in this case. Two is repeated twice, so we'll have to divide by two factorial. So total answer is equal to three factorial upon two factorial multiplied with five factorial. And a second case was when vowels are never together. If vowels are never together, what I going to do is I am going to forget about my vowels. So remaining letters are how many? One, two, three, and four. So I'll arrange these four letters first. These can be arranged in how many ways? Four factorial ways. Now I'll see places for arranging my vowels. I don't want vowels to be together, so I'll write cross signs between dash signs. So how many cross signs are there? One, two, three, four, and five. So places for arranging my vowels. Total number of places are one, two, three, four, five. Out of which, how many places I'm actually going to fill? A O O. I have three vowels, so I'm going to fill three places. But in that O is repeated twice, so I'm going to divide that by two factorial. Therefore, total is equal to how much? Total is equal to four factorial into five p two, which is divided by two factorial. So this is my answer for vowels are never together. Is there any doubt in this last question, Latun? Okay, Athar has given correct answer. Four vowels together, five factorial, three factorial, two. Prashant has given correct answer. Others, do you have any doubt in this particular question? Please repeat steps of second solution. Okay, no problem. So second solution was that vowels should never be together. So how to solve this type of questions when you don't you don't want two objects to be together? It's simple. You just forget about them and write or arrange the remaining. So what is remaining? P, L, T, and N is remaining. That is, you have one, two, three, and four other objects apart from your vowels. And these other four objects can be arranged in how many ways? They can be arranged in four factorial ways. Now, find places for arranging your vowels in that. You don't want vowels to be together. So where can you place your vowels? You can place your vowels on these cross signs. So how many cross signs are there? One, two, three, four, five. So places for your vowels would be five. From which you are going to actually fill those places, how many? Only three, because you have only three vowels, A, O, and O. So you have five options to write your vowels, but out of those five places, you are going to only write your vowels in three places. So if I write a over here, o over here, and o over here, these two spaces uh, can remain blank. So in how many ways can I arrange my vowels? I can arrange them in five p three ways. But o is repeated how many times? Two times. So I'll have to also divide by two factorial. So total is equal to this into this. So that is four factorial multiplied by five p three upon two factorial. So does that answer your question, Prashant? Okay, perfect. Others, have you got any doubt? Or we'll end the lecture over here. Your homework for tomorrow is solve each and every question from exercise 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. If you have any doubts, up till these three exercises, we'll solve them tomorrow. Tomorrow also we'll be finish up, finishing up with exercise 3.4. So after which we'll have only three exercises left, five, six, and seven, which is based on a circle permutations and combinations. Okay, so we'll end the lecture. Thank you, everyone. Type in your feedback to let me know if you have understood the lecture. If you understood, type in yes. If you have doubts, you can ask those doubts. If you understood like 80% lecture, type in 80%. If you have enjoyed the lecture, so just type in your feedback to let me know. Okay, understood from Veer. Thanks, Veer. Enjoyed from Prashant. Others, Atharva is saying understood. 
Hasta and Kashis is saying understood good. Okay, so okay, Pranika is saying all clear good. Beta Tanmay, Rishkesh are saying enjoyed and understood it. Kushi is saying understood. Perfect. Okay, so thank you everyone. I'll see you tomorrow in the next lecture. Muzamil is saying 100%. Thank you. Thank you everyone.